It always seemed so distant. So far away. Like it could never happen to me. But in the most innocent of ways, it has happened. And now I feel trapped. And alone. It's crazy how something so small can have such power over you. Hey Becca, it's great to have you back out on the court again. What's the matter? You saw me, I couldn't do anything out there. Look, it's only your first practice back since you sprained your ankle. It's gonna take a little time before you find it again. Just take it easy on yourself. Wait. Jordan, can you take me to my grandma's tonight? Your grandma's? Yeah, she fell down again. My mom's been taking care of her, but she has to work late tonight, so I have to do it. Sure, I can take you. Thanks, I'll be right out. So how's the ankle feeling? I think it's all better. Yeah? It looked like you were moving pretty good on the court. Thank you. Uh, are you still taking any medication for it? I saw you take something after practice. So? It was just the last time I Vicodin. That's all. You shouldn't be taking those if your ankle is healed. It's no big deal. It was the last one. I'm all out now. Look, I'm your friend. And I know you've been having a tough time lately. You don't have to worry you... about anything. I'm fine. Thanks for the ride. Thank you for doing those things for me, sweetie. When you get to be my age, even the simplest tasks just seem to take forever, especially when you're in pain. Would you hand me that remote, please? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. So tell me, how was your first practice back? What? Didn't it go well? No, it was terrible. I'm super out of shape and I miss most of my shots. I mean, even my free throws. I usually hit my free throws. Oh, it sounds terrible. Grandma, you don't even know what a free throw is. I may not know much about basketball, but I know a thing or two about life. Becca, life is full of ups and downs. When things are good, you begin to make assumptions about the kind of person you are. But it's when you go through the valleys of life that you are forced to answer life's biggest question. What question is that? What kind of person do you want to be? Oh, my back. Becca, would you get me a glass of water and my medicine, please? Yeah. That's it, square up, 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 Move the ball around. Get it inside. Get it inside. Square up. Get it to back. Get it to back. Get it to back. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. We have a lot to work on, girls. That's enough for today. Hey, that's enough for today. We have a lot to work on. Back. 
back, come here, come here. I need to talk to you, back. How does it feel to be back on the court? I don't know. Hey, look, I can tell that you're really frustrated. I can tell that, you know, you're really upset, and I know it's tough coming back from an injury. I know you want to start again, but you're going to have to earn it. Do you understand? You're going to have to earn it. Yes, coach. Looking for these? Give them back. You're addicted to pain medication. You stole these from your own grandma. Becca, look at you. This isn't who you are. Becca, life is full of ups and downs. When things are good, you begin to make assumptions about the kind of person you are. But it's when you go through the valleys of life that you are forced to answer life's biggest question. What question is that? What kind of person do you want to be? Becca? start by telling coach. He'll know what to do. How does it sound? I'm gonna help you through this. The power of addiction is strong, and in order to overcome it, you need something even stronger. In my case, it was the love of a friend. <laughs> 